Hello, welcome to FMOD in two minutes, the video series designed for beginners in audio implementation. Today, I've got a really quick video on how to organize your mix buses. So if we go to window and open up the mixer, we can see by default, we have this master bus, which contains all of our audio events. Now you can see this looks like a bit of a mess. There's no organization. I'm gonna show you how I tend to do it and reasons why I do. So the first thing we wanna do is create two new groups one being sound effects and the next one being music. And then all we have to do is move music into music and all the sound effects into sound effects. Great, now we can go one further. Inside sound effects, we can create a bunch of subgroups. Let's say player, enemy, UI. We could have ambience or environmental sounds and perhaps interactables stuff that the player interacts with in the game. Great. Now all we have to do is once again, drag the events into their relevant buses. Great. It's already looking much better. I hope you agree. Now, the reason we do this is to give us more flexibility when mixing our FMOD project as a whole. For instance, on the master bus itself, we might want to add a limiter to make sure nothing peaks in general. And then we can do similar actions within sound effects, adding compressors here for the music. One thing that's quite common is adding a sidechain so that the music ducks when a certain sound effect plays. Maybe it's something important like an enemy sound that we really wanna hear that much more. We can go to the enemy sub bus here and add a sidechain. Then if we go to music and add a compressor, we can select the sidechain down here. And what this means is that whenever this enemy sound effect plays, i.e. anything within this sub bus group plays, the music will duck according to the settings and sensitivity I add to this compressor. It also means that now that I have all of these auxiliary buses, you'll see they show up here on the right and I can control each individual group of volumes in one go. If I'm play testing and I decide that all of the player sounds are too loud, I can simply go to the player bus, turn it down, or add a compressor or any other effect that I might see fit for the project. I hope this gives you a starting point and makes you start thinking a little bit further about how to mix all of your events when it comes to play testing all of your great sound design. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be uploading more weekly tips on FMOD.